speaking every few seconds and we may see complexity look towards arch see no one then go towards short and he shoots him in the back of the head unfortunately the jiggle, the jiggle peak was um Times well for complexity, and here they come. But Magic Boy is holding things down in a pit position, running out of bullets. He would have had a free kill there. Tries to get a reload in, but Android will stop him. Three versus three as they try to get the bomb down, but it's still in the pit. Yeah, Magic did a great job there. Imagine if he wasn't able to do that. It would be a 5v3 here. But he's given Astralis a very nice chance moving into this retake. Glaive has a smoke grenade as well, but so did Complexity. Stanislaw, though, with the backstab. And the Silenced USP is going to give him a lot of room for error, but Device turns around and it just takes him down. Clothesline maneuver there from Device as Astralis finish up the round. <laughs> well, this is a great start for the Danes. However, Complexity are brandishing these lovely AK-47s at the moment. Dupree. They well time smoke, but maybe not well timed enough. It looks like complexity just darts straight through it. Magisk is happy though. <laughs> Gets himself four with ease. My goodness. So some of you may be wondering what uh, just happened. And basically, if he's a lucky boy. And a 15 and complexity will have themselves top mid and trying to burst that balcony, but Magisk is still alive on the bottom side. The bomb is down, Android. Will scalp him as Glaive turns the corner towards Arch side, assisted by Zipex there to you know, control things as best they can. But the bomb will still go down in the meantime. And Android and Dev have to defend it against three. Dev has a, a flash, but does he dare pull it out? They don't know what the status is towards the Arch position, so he may not feel like he can. Two players. Oh, Android's going huge here. Glaive's the only one that remains. Does he know where he is? He does now. And now they can play a two versus one if they want to, but. Android goes back to the well again, and Glaive's just waiting patiently, gets two 1v1s, and that is round number five for Astralis. Oh, that kill there, onto Ooh. the pit position. Oh dear, that's a <laughs> poor Shazam. Oh no, that's very surprising for him. Really nice nade there, and Astralis know what's going on right now. They have had so much information on the map with that banana control previously. They've worked out where Complexity are moving. They are rotating players now, but will they be there in time? There's a small window here where Complexity could potentially take an advantage if they were to burst onto this bomb site and take down Magisk immediately and see if they can do it in this 4v4. Will they wait for Stanislaw? He's moving up the arch position. That would allow them to split the site, and now Astralis have been forced to move all the way back. Glaive rotating now from the B bomb site. Stanislaw spotted. He's blind, and maybe the library player can take him out. In the meantime, there's fights on the site, and Magister will get picked off, leaving Glaive and Zipex out of position once again in that arch area. Two versus three. Two of these players heavily tagged for complexity. But what can Astralis do with what they have? It's definitely a tough one. Not much in the way of utility to aid this push, and Android in a really good position. That's a beautiful peak coming in from Glaive, though. That will make the burden slightly lighter as they move forwards. But Glaive, he's known. Ye will deal with him, and Zipex with 20 points of health. The best play is to save the AWP as he... Complexity will just go for this one. They're going to have to do this with raw firepower. Glaive will take down the first, and there's not too much left here now for Complexity. Glaive still standing on the bomb site in the 1v1, and he'll deal with it very well. Shot See some jump peaks from Glaive. Got to be careful, and that's going to be an awkward one. He has to take the fight, and does Ye continue to charge through? He does. He expects Glaive to be on his own, and he's not wrong. Charging towards construction, there may be a fight there, but that's good damage from Zipex as he tries to hold on to real estate for his team. Device still in mid, Android still at the bottom of mid. And now the bomb is coming in as well. Android was uh, just picked off by Device in mid. Look at that grenade, that was perfect! And the follow-up from Zipex, and this was on 6 HP! What can you do? <laughs> what can you do? Pretty much every position they're trying to take as well. You know, you can see Shazam being forced out as his teammates are picked off around him. Not a good spot to be in. He's got to be perfect with this AK, and he doesn't even get a chance to shoot. The A will also be of a similar fate as the round is picked up by Astralis. To the CT side, but the timing was uh, extra brutal for complexity because of the position in absolute Astralis. Yeah, look at this push again. Dupree is going really aggressive. He loves it, and he's got device to back him up. Oh my oh god, my that god. was incredible. So quick, and a need to follow up. It is a brilliant combo from device to finish off the remainder of complexity. Just Android left. That was such a... That was, I mean, it's like a pixel shot. It's so such a fast correction. Yeah. Such a... Like, a, with a sweeping motion with the AWP. It just... It, we aim to see even more of that. Ye will get some information, seeing all the players running up second mid. I like this from Complexity, trying to meet these T's before they get up to top mid and see if they can get some frags. And it is not going all that well here for Complexity. 
two players left now, and Astralis with a minute and a half left, they can go anywhere on the map, and that's so dangerous. They're slowing it down the T side. Androids is in an awkward position, but Dupree's unlikely to peek him anytime soon from the balcony because he would be so exposed across the A site. Now moving into mid, not seeing anything, and Device might spot him if he peeks mid again. So it's really a question of timing as to who's going to get what information because they're all moving around. Magic Boy standing in second mid with the bomb. Hello, goodbye. There's one player taken out. So that's half the information though for Astralis. Now where Sanistor, they've just spotted him. What do they choose to do with this information? Magisk has a gamble to make. Repositioning. Ooh, Android, does he peek deep? This is, there's so many different things that could happen. We just got to wait and see. Device slowly walking up. Goes for a fast peek, doesn't see anything top mid. Magic Boy has walked past him. Device is doing the baiting now with the sound cues. There's Android, but there's no cues yet for Magisk. However, Stanislaw is starting to rotate, but he's keeping an eye on B just in case they have no idea. With 23 seconds, Magic Boy can't really go into apartments to hunt for the kill. He's got to go for the bomb plant. He does have that P250 and a smoke and a flash. This is very doable here for Magisk. A 1v2 clutch, waiting for his opponents to arrive. They don't know... I don't think they have any idea, actually, where he is. I don't think he made any sound cues that were audible. Android, if there was to be a sound cue to abuse, it would be him that has it. We'll see. Doesn't look like they have the information. They're checking the bomb site. Magisk, he's going to get one good opportunity here. He's got to be good, but... Oh, my God, Android's just way too quick. And they'll get the defuse. But at least, you know, he secured the bomb plant. So that's my area to do it. Here comes the burst up top mid. And a couple kills coming in from Astralis. That's already a great result. And oh my god, it's going to get even better for them. They can plant the bomb. They can pick up guns. They could win the round at this point. That would be devastating for complexity as they make their way up towards top middle. And there is ample time here to get into post plant positions for Astralis to make this as good as possible. And Zipex will have a good first engagement. Spots both players. And now they can play the crossfire. This will be very hard for Complexity. Device has a Molotov as well, which he's picked up. That's going to just delay the time. Stanislaw has a kit. Smoke into the Molotov, but now they've got to push through the smoke. That could be suicide as a pot flash, though. And Zipex gets taken out in a two versus one. So close to Vice dancing around the box. Stanislaw low. Stanislaw gone. Astralis with an opportunist play on... Trying to play with this gap. Not going to catch Device off guard, but he gets one and manages to hop around the corner. That's maximum value out of that smoke. Yeah, that's really cool. It must be a set smoke there. Ooh, Dupree, is he about to peek? He is. That is absolutely brutal. As soon as Ye turns away, does Dupree assume somebody's on short? He does with that pop flash. Flashes himself as well, though, so he's got to be careful. He's got a teammate in tow on the balcony, and they start to move in towards the A site, but the bomb is still at the bottom of mid, which could be a problem for them because Shazam, as you can see, he's looking for something, but he'll get shot in the side of the head, and that's three frags. They should know that the B players are likely to, well, be towards B or rotating. Now down they go one by one. Didn't really get a chance to even talk about Dupree's position, but maybe that'll have to wait for another game because they, they will close this one out. 16 to four, Astralis.